All right, welcome back, everybody. Next episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I am still a little sick, so I apologize if, you know, you hear a random cough every now and then or something like that. But last episode we went through, and we've been we've been going through a lot of Sparta. Um, we've we've got side quests for days. We helped we we helped train someone's daughter, and in the ways of cardiovascular health. Um. And, uh, yeah, we, t we talked to a king, and he wants us to go kill Spartans that are killing people. So, yeah. Next, we're going to talk to Brasidas, see where that takes us. And then we have we have plenty of side quests to grab and do here, along with uh, question marks to go see what they are. So, let's get going with it. There you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. What do I need to know before well, I go in? I don't think we're in? ready yet, are we? Ah, that's right. You've never had an audience with the two kings. I've met Papsanias. King Papsanias. Ah, really? Kings Papsanias and Archidamos share rulership. Impress them both, and your home will be returned to you. I didn't expect this to be pleasant. I... I don't think we do this yet. I think we need to go sway them first, and then we'll come what back to this. What can you tell me about Papsanias? He's young. Don't mistake his smile for kindness. As with all kings, those who cross him learn to regret it. What should I know about Archidamos? Archidamos is a traditionalist. Not one to back down from a fight. He's also got a temper. Try to stay He's on his Spartan, side. obviously, has a temper. Okay. I have a few things yeah, to we'll take do care this later. Um, this is definitely something that we need to to do after we sway them. So we don't need ambition. This side quest is one of those just like reoccurring go kill um, Athenian polymarks. We could do it just for like as we come across them, end up killing them. But I don't care enough to. <laughs> Come bring it back for 2,000 gold or drop me. It's not worth it. So I'm just going to leave it there forever and ever and never touch it. So let's go grab this side quest. We had a side quest that we finished last episode. And she said that like four people across Sparta needed our help as well. And we did one of them last episode. That's, that's when we slept with, I mean, trained... The cardiovascular health of one of them and there's we have three left so I, is, is there stairs here okay all right what do we got you are the eagle bearer wonderful magistrate xanthi has spoken highly of you very kind of her so here's the thing my children have promising futures but they refuse to learn and study they think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the Eagle Bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I bet they retain it and impress their tutors. I love how I'm popular in Sparta and in Athens, and I have just murdered relentlessly both sides. But they're like, yeah, nah, it's she's an cool. Request. But uh, I've been asked to do stranger things. She's killed it. hundreds of us, My but children she's cool. Are waiting inside the temple of the Onisus Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all when questioned. Uh. I know the story well, of course, but my preferred version may not be what your children expect. Do not fear. If you need a reminder, there are many relics related to Perseus in the hall adjacent to the Temple of the Onesus Colonatas. Good to know. Okay. Um, I'm essentially... Are in the temple? Oh, is it like right here? The Gorgon Shield. Um, <clears throat> apologies. Uh, Perseus was given a mere bright shield from Athena Protector. On the command of Zeus Most High, Perseus uh, could safely face the Gorgon Medusa without turning to stone by looking at her reflection only in the shield. Do that. There's a lot of stuff here. 
Olympian Discus of Perseus. His adventure is done and newly married. Perseus returned to Argos and took part in honored games. He threw the discus. It soared so far and so fast, it flew into the stands and killed King Acrisios by mistake, fulfilling the oracle's prophecy. Ooh, I remember that too. Uh, the sickle of Aramis, Aramis or Hermes, whatever, whatever you want to say. Keeper of the flocks and ram bearer gave this shining sickle to Perseus on command of Zeus Most High. I gotta like get close. Statue of Zeus, when King Acrisios heard a prophecy stating one day his grandson would kill him, he locked his unwed daughter in a room of bronze. Zeus saw her, fell in love with her beauty, and took the form of a divine golden rain to visit with her. Yeah, the thing Zeus did, man, was just weird. The fishnet of Perseus. Perseus and his mother, uh, Danae, I don't know, were found and rescued by the fisherman Dictus. Okay. Uh, Perseus uh, was raised by him and taught to fish and hunt and ride. This is the fish net he used to trap fish, mollusks, and other sea creatures. When debris from Argos, a piece of debris from a wooden crate, King Acrisios uh, forced his daughter and her baby into the box and had the box cast into the wild sea, where he knew if he killed them directly, he would earn the wrath of Zeus. And then, yeah. All right. Let's see if we remember anything. Hello, I'm... The eagle banner. We've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the goddess about the exploits of brave Perseus and noble Pegasus. As a golden shower. Acrisios, the king of Argos, was not a good man. He had one child, a daughter, Danai. Bitter that he had no son, he went to the oracle of Delphi and heard a prophecy that chilled him. Ooh, what was it? The oracle said Acrisios would be killed by his grandson, but Danai was unmarried and childless at the time. To protect himself, he locked Danai in a bronze room open only to the sky. Ooh! However, mighty Zeus saw the girl and fell in love with her. He transformed into a golden shower and seduced her. Danai gave birth to a son, Perseus. I knew it! King Acrisius couldn't kill the boy for fear of angering Zeus, so he put his daughter and grandson in a wooden crate and toss them into the wild sea to be drowned. How horrid! Poor Perseus! I should also mention, uh, nowadays a golden shower means something very, very different. Uh, Perseus and his mother Danai were rescued on the island of Seriphos, and Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Thictis. Lucky them! Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things too! Good for you. Except swim or be just. Damn. Now, Victor's the brother throat. was the ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. Um. You know, I think we missed a spot. Um. Wasn't it Andromeda? I think I missed something. 100%. Wasn't he. I'm pretty sure he was with Andromeda, wasn't he? Or is it? It was a quest. It wasn't an impossible riddle. This is something different. That's somebody else. Who's that? Is that Theseus? I don't fucking... I don't know. The you went on a quest, though. Was Dictis's brother, Polydectis, decided he wanted to marry Danai, for she was still beautiful and noble. But Perseus knows his mother does not want this. Dictis couldn't stop his brother, so it was up to Perseus to interfere and be annoying. <laughs> He's 
Christos. That's your job. I would keep the Stinky King from marrying you. The cruel, uh, Stinky King became angry. To get rid of Perseus, Polyvectis sent him on an impossible quest. Prove yourself a warrior and fetch me a worthy wedding gift, the king said. By killing a great monster. I knew it! Shh, I knew it too. Okay, obviously he needed the Gorgon's head. Golden Fleece was a different one. Polyvectis told sure, Perseus right? to bring back the head of Medusa, the Gorgon whose gaze could Argos, turn though. anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. Ah! Polyvectis knew that Medusa would be Perseus' death. That stinker! But the evil king did not know Perseus was favored by the gods. Hermes gifted Perseus with winged sandals and a silver sickle, and Athena gave him a bronze shield. Polished, mirror bright. Perseus flew to Medusa's lair and used the shield to watch her reflection. He cut off her head with the sickle of Hermes. As she died, the winged foal Pegasus sprung from her neck. Yes! Flying home, Perseus found the maiden Andromeda chained on the Ethiopian cliffs, waiting to be sacrificed to the baleful sea monster Ketos. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Ketos to stone. Rescued Andromeda and married her. Take that, Ketos! Perseus returned home to find King Polyvectis relentlessly pursuing the Nye. They quarreled, and Perseus showed the king his wedding gift. When he saw Medusa's head, Polyvectis turned to stone. Yes! So I'm failing miserably. I'm I'm failing very, very miserably. Uh the, the story I'm telling does not feel like it's matching up. And it's confusing even me. So I'm fucking up. Uh, okay, well, it's definitely not the bottom one. But! Perseus traveled to Argos with his family. And one day competed in the great... Pretty sure, yeah, this one's right. This he is the first thing the we discus, read. And his throw Second was thing. so great... ...that it shot into the stands and struck King Acrisios. So doing, Perseus killed his grandfather and fulfilled the prophecy. Hurrah! You can't escape your fate. In the end, Perseus and Andromeda settled in Mykine as king and queen... ...and had seven sons and two daughters, the Perside. That was a great telling of the tale. I'll never forget it. Maybe the best! I can't wait to tell all my friends! Hopefully it Aww. was all right. Thank you. I couldn't help overhearing the end of your story. Truly inspiring, Eagle Bearer. Thank you. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't... Maybe I got... It did get it all right. I don't know. There was nothing that would... That, that told me if it was right or wrong. So... I don't know. But we're going to go do some question marks and make our way over to that side quest that is also over there. And kids, don't don't follow me. Don't jump off cliffs. Not everybody's made for this. Um, yeah, so we have a couple of question marks that we'll go do. We'll go grab that side quest that's over there. I think it's another small one like that, so it shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to, to get through all of them. Or all of that, at least, and then start making our way south again. What's up, dude? Wait. Trash. Trash loot. We are running out of uh, cult. What the shit? The lion just came out of nowhere. The fuck? Ooh. I get to kill people. Let's go. Uh, is that it? Okay. Should be easy enough. Getting your right spotted here. Rifle spot. Beautiful. Okay, so now I just need that loot. Is that the front? Like, is this the back? I can't get in through this way. I 
Also, did I miss one? There's two chests. Oh, they're both right there. There's one in the back. Okay. I can deal with that. Beautiful. I am incredible. Alright, so that one's done. Let's go grab this side quest and see what this is all about. What's this called? Sacred Favors. I like those. Give me plenty of those, actually. Your wolves. I was looking underneath the uh, the thing in case there was an orc alchem ore. Although we haven't even been paying attention to what's in the store for that, so it's probably not even worth it. And I think it costs like sixty or something like that to buy one piece of gear, which is way too much. So oh, it's just a ten. Little suburb of of Sparta. Cool. Farm town. You wouldn't happen to be the eagle bearer, would you? Me? Yes, I am. Where do you know justice? Your hair must have been woven by Athena. Your body is like a sculpture made by the masters. Stop it! Your arms look so strong. Strong enough to... She's gonna want me to do her chores. Strong enough to... Strong enough to carry this basket <laughs> to my husband, Calibos. Yep. There it is. Oh, right. The magistrate mentioned you. It'll be easy to carry. Thank you so what? much. Let me know if you need anything. Where might I find Calibos? He's an important general. His unit is stationed in the northeast near the fort of Presai, down by the beach. What's in the basket? What any man would need on the eve of battle to win the respect of the gods. Please, Eagle Bearer. It would give him an edge over his enemies. Um, I'll help kay. with the delivery. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this? Gotta bring this bill. The fuck? What a stupid ass quest. This is dumb. Oh, this is heavy. What's in here? Bricks? I am shocked. Hundred percent as soon as I leave. Her eyesight? Not maybe not right away, but soon after I leave her eyesight, I'm looking in this bitch. I don't. I'm a Snoopy guy. Hundred percent, I'm looking in there. Can you carry something this heavy and not look? I guess some people are are made better than me. More just, or right. Not me, though. I'm looking in there. I'm not taking anything, but I'll look in there, you know, just to see. I'm very much a the more you know kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge is power. Oh, there's trees. There's everything. I also didn't check to see if I could just put it on the back of my horse. It was... It, I would assume it's probably possible, right? Eh, whatever. Oh, uh, fuck. Can I jump off with it? Does it look like it? Am I stuck? Am I stuck? Not stuck. <laughs> you can just toss the bitch. I love that. Uh, thank God. Very, very well-made basket, too. That's crazy. Craftsmanship is insane. 
Hold on. There's trees here. Hello, friendos. The sun's coming up. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful in the water. Look at that. What's up, dude? Amistios? Well met. What brings you to our camp? You are Calibos? Your wife sent me to deliver this package. I think it might be some kind of offering. Zefxo is a good woman. She's gifted me with a basket fit for Dionysos. Earthly pleasures? She made it sound like it was a case of life and death. A deathly hangover, maybe. Boys, we're having a good night. Care to join us, friend? Are you sure you want your soldiers this intoxicated while in the field? Oh, I must have misjudged you. Are you not also a Spartan? The only thing we're better at than fighting is drinking. I see your point. Uh, I don't Thank think I'll drink with him. I don't like to dull my senses this close to battle. I will stay and keep you in, and your men company fighting? through the night. I don't know I was fighting. Messenger of Zeus? This will be in this thing. They're gonna get ambushed. 100%. Are we raiding a castle? Valhalla style? I'm in. A little horn blast. Why am I laying down? Could I didn't drink. Pass the water skin? Oh, could someone pass my head? I think I left it farther down the beach. I didn't even drink last night. Why am I seeing a Trojan horse? What's happening? What is going on? We can offer it to Poseidon Earthshaker for safe passage across the sea. Careful! This was a trap the last time. <laughs> it was a trap last time. <laughs> I told you. Oh yeah, I'm I'm getting into battle right away. Fuck you. We're just bouncing. Big guys first. I can't believe they fell for that. Hello, friendos. Ooh, get away from me, bitch. Ooh, Mr. Dodgy McDodge. Fuck you. And this went well. Beautiful. I told you it was going to be an ambush. That guy just got fucking smoked. Yeah. It was a terrible time, dude. Could have just done it while we were sleeping. I once boasted to a friend that I was a better tactician than Odysseus himself. Today I was proven wrong. You live to fight another day. Learn from this. Please, thank my wife for her festive gift. I don't know if I should thank her or curse her. <laughs> Alright. Well, there's that. That one is done. We have next. We have. We have to go do that at some point. We might do this first. We're gonna go do this question mark. See what it's all about, and then I think we go and do. I feel like there's. There might be another quest that goes there. Also, where am I going? Up here. Okay. There might be another quest that goes to that fort. That might be like the last thing I do. But then again, I have to run all the way over there. So, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, it's going to be the beginning of an episode anyway, so. Probably do it next episode. I'll just run over since we're close already. And the next episode will start with that. Um, with... Let's do this. That fort. Sorry. I was like 30 seconds behind what I was trying to say. Talking is difficult. I shit on a dick. I didn't look through Icarus. Honestly, no. I mean, I kind of remember, but where I'm going. But I don't know where anything is. 
But this is promising. Hello. Would I survive one hit from a snake? Or would I just get fucking bulldozed? That would be rather unfortunate, honestly. Um. I can survive a hit from a snake. Good. Um, is this the way out? This feels like the way out, almost. Okay. Odd time for a conquest battle to be available, but sure. So this is the way out. Kill the snake first. Well, okay. Um, cool. I guess we just go back. Start running through again. I made the wrong decision. Uh, it's this way. Try not to go back into the opening. Or the entrance, which I think, yeah, it was that way. Okay, so we're good. We were so close, and I chose the wrong direction. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of here, and then we will end the episode. Actually, it doesn't even matter, because we already grabbed the chest that's there, so it's not even worth it. We just run out this way. The original direction. So, uh, we're going to end the episode here, and next episode, I think we're going to start, we're just going go to uh, go to the fort that is over there, which should be interesting. Forest fire! And hopefully we don't have to go back over there. I think it's very plausible that we might have to, but uh, I guess we're going to find out. So, yeah. Do I run there or do I take their ship? I think we take the ship. It'll be a little faster for me. But we're going to end the episode here, and we will start over there somewhere on the rocks. So thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day, night, whatever it is, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.